Yeah, I do. Today we're working on a remodel on a sheetrock job and part of the texture that was there is called hand brocade so we need to match that. The hand brocade was really popular in the late 70s, 80s, 90s and it's still popular. It's a really nice texture. But first we must make a tool to use to apply the hand brocade texture and it's just simple. We're going to cut a four foot by four foot piece of four, six, eight mil plastic, just some heavier plastic, and that's going to be our very fancy hand brocade tool. So you got it cut out here. What you're going to do is just grab it in the middle, like that, squeeze them up in there. That's going to be your handle right there. Then you're going to take some tape, duct tape, whatever, and go ahead and wrap that one time to hold it together like so. Now you're going to flail your pieces out like that. This is going to create your hand brocade pattern. So you got these four corners. So take each corner and pull it in to the center like this, like this. Like this, like this, and then you're going to take that and you're going to have what drywaller would call a hand brocade stalper. If you're going to use it a lot, what's really good to do is when you have it at this stage, you can cut a plastic lid out of a five gallon bucket and cut a hole in it and slip it onto there before you bring these down. That's going to make the stalker last a lot longer because as you use this thing over time this plastic starts to break down and then you don't get a good pattern. But we're only going to use it for a little bit so we're just going to go ahead and leave it like this. So once you get those wrapped around the corners like so. I'm going to go ahead and take that handle. So we'll be using a hop, it's called, thing that plasters use, just a piece of metal with a handle. You can make one out of plywood too by just cutting a piece of plywood and putting a screw through the top into a, say, wooden dowel. Also be needing a wipe down knife, which will be wiping your texture down. This is a big one but you can use a smaller one as well like a 12 inch the bigger they are the faster it goes so those two items definitely are a must okay we're at the remodel and this is what it's looking like we have it's going to be a shower so tile is going to go up here so we're, we just tape that made it smooth for tile over here we have a wall that we patched that all got taped in there, so we gotta match this texture. Get that blended in real well, and then that'll look like one uniform texture wall. mix it pretty much right out of the box. That way it's not too thin because this hand brocade is pretty tight. It's not real flat. 
It's like a bigger knockdown machine brocade, they call it. Get some mud on our hawk. Okay, we've got our hawk and our scalper. Let's go ahead and put some mud over there. Go past. And there we go. Easy as that. Little trick on how to get mud in the corner. You have mud on your knife from doing the walls. Go ahead and take that into the corner. Press a little hard and pull. And that'll get it into the corner. That way you won't have to struggle with getting your stomper all the way in there. You can just pull it out with that. Your knife. You don't have to use a knife this big either. You can use a smaller one. Whatever works. And that's all there is to it. Stomp and wipe down. You got a nice hand brocade texture. It'll really go well with what they're going to be doing in here. So, until next time, DIY Duke. Hope that helps you out in some maybe future texture projects. Got any questions, let me know. Big boy and basset hound. Whoa, good boy. Help, Come on, help, champs. Help, Let's go. Help, Let's go. We gotta go. Bye-bye, Pop. Help, help.